Once again, we're going to have some nice people here with some very interesting occupations. And uh, I think occupations that will give my friends on the panel some trouble. We'll have a famous guest challenger before the panel a bit later on. But right now, let's see what they can do with our first challenger whose line has to be spotted. Would you sign in, please, ma'am? Jane Eden, is that right? I... I... Or Mrs. Miss. Miss Jane Iden. And where are you from? Hollywood, California. Hollywood, California. Well, that's wonderful. It's very nice to have you here with us. I understand that the temperature out there is a little bit more temperate. We never have heat like this. <laughs> it's always cool at night. It's always cool at night. It's always cool at night. Well, actually, it's not bad around here if the night gets old enough, but you have to wait a long time. <laughs> well, it's wonderful to have you come and visit us. We apologize for the heat, but I cannot apologize for my colleagues on the panel. They're brilliant, and they would like to get a closer look at you. So would you take a hike down there? How do you do, Miss Hello, Miss Thank you. Are you missing the Beverly Hilton opening today? Yes. Are you really? All right, Miss Iden, if you'll come over here, please, and sit down next to me. I would ask you, first of all, if you're familiar with our scoring system, are you? Yes. Fine. Would you come in close so that you're comfortable and you can lean on the table and get close to the microphone? And if you know how we score it, let's let the people who are looking in at home and our friends here in the theater know exactly what your line is, all right? I would announce that Miss Iden is salaried, and we'll begin the general questioning with um, Miss Dorothy Kilgallen. Uh, Miss Iden, do you work for a profit-making organization? Yes. Uh, would it be amusing for people to watch what you do? <laughs> no. Small conference. <laughs> Maybe not to her. <laughs> John is trying to convince her that it's funny. Yeah. <laughs> he did, uh, In other words, if Fred could watch you at your work, he might be entertained or enlightened. Yes, if Mr. Allen were to watch Miss Iden at her work, he might well be entertained or enlightened, yes. Uh, do you work with people? Yes. Do you work indoors? Yes. In an enclosure? We hope so. Uh, do you work with uh, one sex more than the other? No. <clears throat> one down and nine to go, and I duck. <laughs> Mr. Allen. Well, what's so, uh, what are you ducking, John? Well, I would say this... In this weather, I think... I think you'd enjoy a little duck. No, <laughs> Miss, Miss Iden would be much more expert in this area than I am, and um, I Why would... don't you let her answer, then? <laughs> All right, well... <laughs> Uh, uh, she doesn't, uh, her, uh, performance or whatever, are you uh, involved in show business in any way? No. That's You're two not. down and eight to go. <laughs> well, I was trying to duck too, John. I just wanted to join. I'm going to ask your questions, then we'll be all set. Nobody's right. asked if there's any product connected with what you do. Is there, Miss Iden? No. That's three down and seven to go, <laughs> Mr. Sir. Miss Iden, judging by this to-do about working more with one sex and another. Do the people who come to you take off any of their clothes? Oh, no. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait. <laughs> she's giving as bad as she's getting. No, they don't, John, no, no. matter what you think. <laughs> Just because it's Hollywood, John, you know. <laughs> Miss <laughs> Biden says no. That's four thousand things to go. They do not take any of their clothes off. Well, you do perform a service for these people. Yes. Uh, it isn't just that you're selling them something. Big time. Yes, well, it is. Oh. No, yes, it is not that, that Miss Biden is just selling something. Uh, are they in some type of clothing when they come to you that is different from, well, the sort of clothing we're all wearing now? Yes and no. That's <laughs> everything clear. John, I don't think you rehearsed with Miss Eisen before you came on. Now, that's the trouble. We don't rehearse. I would say this. That is some a very... Some do and some don't. 
Some do. Some do and some don't. Well, there you are. Well, that's life, I mean, actually. Some do. And those that don't really do. Uh, Furthermore. After, after they get there in whatever clothing, uh, do they ever lie down? No. Nobody lies down. Five down and five to go, Mr. Allen. Well, do you improve the people's appearance or... or you don't no. improve them at all? Well, now, would you like to finish the question? <laughs> I mean, will you, will you improve the appearance? Is that your of question? Of the people, yes. When uh, when she uh, delivers this service. <laughs> no, it doesn't improve the, service. the appearance, Fred, at no. all. That's she hurt down. them in any way? The question, uh, <clears throat> yes. Six out of four to go, Miss Francis. Uh, but the point is that <coughs> they are people, not animals, that Miss Iden works with. <coughs> well, then if you don't improve the appearance, do you in any way change these people that come to you? No. Seven down and three to go, Mr. Sir. <laughs> Miss Iden, do you work upon what in Hollywood would be called their minds? No. Nothing? <laughs> Eight down and two to go, Miss Kilgallen. Do you speak to them, Miss Iden? No. Miss no. Iden does work Miss Iden something. Iden work. <laughs> no, not, not right one to go, Mr. Allen. Well, is it a, has it been established that the people come to her for this uh, for this service? I believe this question could be asked. Uh, do the people come to you, John? Yes. They do come to you in this enclosure in which you per uh, perform this function. Yes. Uh, and you don't approve their appearance, or you don't help them mentally in any way. No. You just mingle with you them. Just photograph them as they are. Yeah. You photograph them. You no. <laughs> That's ten down and no more to go. I don't understand oh. why you didn't get this because it's you know all you'd have to do is look at Miss Iden and you'd get it. She sets pin uh, pins up in a bowling alley out in Hollywood. <laughs> Explain something, Miss Arlene. I think you asked the question about, you know, no, it was you, Dorothy, wasn't it? Remove clothes or Bennett? Remove clothes. And I said, well, you know, don't they take their coats off? And she said, you don't know Hollywood. In Hollywood, nobody wears a coat or a necktie. They just come in the bowling alley and bowl. Oh, right? that's true. So that takes care of that. Well, you won the full prize, and we hope that you enjoyed your visit with us as much as we enjoyed having you. Thanks for being our guest. It was grand to have you.